Hey guys, it's Reaper Z412, or Alex. Um, this is uh, the tank right now, my frag tank. I'm actually dealing with a very unique problem. Um, I know you can't really tell, but I have Monty eating nudibranchs. Um, I'm at the end of the, uh, the dipping regimen. I've done it about 12 times. So it's been a couple of months of dipping. Um, the instructions say to do it every three to five days. So that's what I've been doing. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can be generous with a dip. I like to actually dip a little stronger and I haven't had any problems uh, or stressed out the, uh, the Montes too much. So that's that. Um, but I've been doing the frags, the whole colonies, and basically what the setup is here is it's just a little uh, Sterlite bin. And then I have a, uh, a strong fountain pump here or a power head, whatever you want, um, to blow the nudibranchs off because you just can't throw them in here. The dip won't physically remove them from the uh, from the coral. The dip says that it'll kill it, but I haven't seen them fall off the, co the coral or anything. You have to perky base them or put them against some strong flow. So that's why the power head's in there and I have the light so that I can uh, pluck off the really, uh, really strong nudies that don't get off from the power head or the turkey baster because there are some that do that. And I think it helps uh, blow off some of the eggs as well. Um, but the light is just basically for for checking things out. Um, I recommend you put one over your bin if you decide to uh, tackle this problem. Um, the light is actually, <laughs> it's a PAR 38 bulb. That's the only thing I really had laying around, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, I'm at the end of the, uh, the dipping regimen and all the Montes look pretty good. Um, not having much of a an issue. I don't know if you could see, but that was the first one down here, the bluish one. You could see it was being eaten from the outside and then working their way in, and that was covered in them. And I'm an idiot for not noticing it for a while, but I counted in the beginning about two, three hundred, and now I'm down to one or two. So. It is a manageable in, a problem, and you can take care of it, but it takes a lot of determination. And the ritual dipping every three to five days, I usually go four to five, because the the, uh, the nudibranchs lay their eggs in three to five day cycles, and then when they hatch, the dip is supposed to kill the nudibranchs, not the eggs, because it says the eggs are resistant. I don't know if that's true, maybe someone can back that up, but from what I've seen, and how many times they reappear, that's the problem. Uh, that you'll be facing. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that video and good luck with uh, those Monty Nudibranchs. Hope you don't have them. Bye.